everybody in that town was in their yards because they're having a big rattlesnake roundup Mm -hmm. cooking out and i was just driving through the town feeling grateful like man these are my people i think the other biggest part about this is it's it's tertiary even like you want to use fancy words like quaternary markets that nobody ever thinks about yes we that's that's our bread and butter these are the people we talk to every day i was driving by some place oh walnut springs this week i'm driving through walnut springs there's thousands of I, I bet there was 500 bikers there there's thousands of people everybody in that town was in their yards because they're having a big rattlesnake roundup mm-hmm. cooking out and i was just driving through the town feeling grateful like man these are my people like like did I, you get I, out and fight a rattlesnake i did not fight a rattlesnake but you know you get out you high five whatever but but those are the folks that we we deal with every day and yeah. we love to be in those neighborhoods that's the kind of places we came from like i grew up in joshua texas I had one stoplight those are the places that are overlooked so much when natural disasters happen, 100%. you know, because it's fly, it's not even flyover country at that point. It is, it's not Dallas, Texas. It's not Ford, Texas. It's not Arlington because when those tragedies hit, that's the nexus where people. Yeah. There's, there's not up. enough, there's not enough votes there for the politicians to, right. to care. So when we were out there, did you meet all the other people that were a lot of them? Yeah. Especially that first time we rolled the, up, kind of got a good scope. Yeah. The, the ministries that were there, it, oh, yeah. Like when we were there, it was, you know, churches from Amarillo, churches from Kansas, churches from, you know, it was churches with men that were part of a fellowship that showed up with chainsaws and, you know, equipment and everything else. And But it was, I mean, it was mainly church bodies in that town cleaning up and us, everybody I talked to. And, and it was it was pretty amazing to see. And, and if you're ever, if you're ever involved in it, you'll, I mean, I hate to call it addicting, but it would be addicting it's hard to ignore um uh, you know something like that that happens close to home well i I mean i don't think addicting is the right word it's hard to feel in your life every day the impact that you make but you can feel it right there when you're changing somebody's life immediately if you enjoyed this video please for the love of god let us know in the comment section also make sure you subscribe hit that bell so you know every time a new one drops